welcome everyone so in this video I'm going to showcase click collaboration so I'll tell you and walk you through what is uh, click collaboration so as you can see it is uh, for developers so uh, any click sense developers uh, face uh, always faces a problem that uh, we don't have a path or we don't have a way to collaborate our uh, findings so let's say uh, I have a data model which is common between two applications and I want to integrate a KPI from one application to another so how can I do that so um, basically uh, in the general terms what we have to do is we have to make all the variables the master dimension measure visualization and the sheets uh, related to that KPI into the new application so that is a timeline uh, which has to be followed so uh, in this video this extension will give you a small demonstration how you can embed all those uh, visualizations uh, uh, your master dimension measures variable and sheets all together into the host application so now I'm going to select Oh, application here so I have an application HR click tech so I'm going to select that so now I have all the set of variables which I have defined into the application all the measures the dimensions uh, visualizations even the connections so if you want some specific connections you can obviously uh, import that too now there's story also but uh, uh, story has uh, some catch so uh, I'm going to tell those catch in the next upcoming video and the sheet obviously let's say I'm just going to select one sheet I just want uh, the first dashboard sheet okay and I want uh, all these connections and I want this master visualization so as you can see there are filters so it is a filter pane and this dashboard also exists has a filter pane so we don't have a technique to you know uh, more uh, migrate that filter pane so in this extension you can do that too so I'm going to take all the master measures as well and uh, the dependent variable which I have so I have a lot of them so I'm going to select all those variables yes so this is my custom variables which I have made and simply just simply I'm going to clone okay now it hit it twice actually and the dashboard itself perfect the sheet has been successfully created I'll hit on slave and now you can see I have the dashboard here so this image is broken because I'll show you the host application so this image is broken because I have an in-app um, uh, image which I have uh, defined to this to the sheet here okay so this is how the sheet looks in real and if I go here so I'm not going to see any uh, no data here because the data is not there so uh, what I'll do is I go to the load editor I'll pause the video and I'll go to the load editor and load that data now I forgot to tell you one more thing that uh, we can actually get in the script also so uh, I'm going to select so I want the script too. I'm going to select this. I'll say get script. I have the script. I'll just copy. I'll go to my data and I'll paste it. Yeah, I have the script. So I just don't need this because it's already there. So I'm going to cut and replace this. I'm going to save and reload
okay oh sorry so it's taking from some other source i guess i'm going to now it will load perfect and now when i go to my sheet everything is coming just perfect as it should everything is as same but the theme is not applied so obviously i can go here and switch my theme as well and i can save it okay so it's uh, fiscal year 2018 i'm going to select that and no change perfect so this is how it works so uh, basically you can go ahead and take whatever sheets and everything you want so let's say i'm going to take another sheet so i'm going to select and let's say i want uh, the mis i'm going to just clone it and i have the mis now perfect and this is a custom vigil made by me it is uh, in branch and this is a master uh, master visualization see so it's been linked to the master visualization which we have uh, copied and the filter panes also so this is all for this video thank you very much i'll meet you again namaste